Hi, my name is Rowan O'Malley. I'm a 10 year old power lifter, and these are my numbers. My back squat is 100 kilo, my bench press is 57.5, and my deadlift is 127.5. The total is 285. I got eight world records and nine American records. So I go to school five days a week, obviously, and four days a week I go to the gym, and two of them days I also go to rugby training, but at the moment it's off so I'm not going at the moment, so I'm spending more time at the gym, and I walk to two hours. Everything that Rowan does for the whole year is planned, so it's not like we go to the gym and just it's randomised, like his, his whole year, every week, four times a week, including things on top of that, like the way he plays rugby, guitar, drums, everything is, is scheduled, so if you look on, on the fridge here, this is the final block before we went to America, this is eight weeks before we went to compete in the States. And this is 28 sessions. And in these 28 sessions, you can see the behavior in the gym, how many sets and reps and what kind of load we expect and when we need to back off. And then at the bottom here, you can see what we expect them to lift the competition. And then just underneath there, because we were going to the States to set some records, we, we have lists around the house of who set what record when. So it's fresh in Rowan's mind. So for example, we knew the heaviest total was Dalton Fazio, which was 230 kilo. Rowan ended up setting the record at 285 kilo. Could you lift your sofa at home? Yeah. And you can pick up your little sister? Yeah. And who else can you pick up? Can you pick up your mum? Yeah, I can pick up my mum. I can pick up them. You can pick up me? Yeah. That is true. When I was about seven, I competed in this um, York Strongest Kid competition and I won it for boys. And that's when I was like, oh, I'm a lot stronger than most of the kids. And then I started training more and more and then I'm and then I'm here. We used to run fitness events and Rowan would, would copy the events and he would copy the workouts. And when I used to go to work with my client, we'd lose Rowan and he'd disappear and he'd be in the garage like doing burpees or squats or pressing. Like he, as a toddler, he, he would just be constantly being active and, and or if there was something to hang off, he'd be hanging off it. And we, Rowan was never happy unless he was being active. Whereas other children have devices or, or, or the digital things in their life. Roman's never shown an interest in those things. He just wants to be active all the time. So from about three or three or four, we, we got the idea that he was going to be a driven kind of athlete. I like to play guitar. I like to play drums. I don't like to play video games. I don't like to do that stuff. I like to ride my bike and meet up with my friends. From literally since he was born, he's seen bars and weights. It's been in his life. Uh, Roman didn't actually start lifting weights until he was about four or five. But prior to then, he was learning to move without any weights. So he would move with a plastic pipe or just with body weight. But it's been something that's been in his life since he could, since he could walk. It's not right. We should be lifting weights. It's making my bones stronger. People say it stunts my growth. It doesn't. We even had a doctor to say that it doesn't. So. Everything that they're saying is not true. Everything that we're saying is true. <laughs> so like, the UK seems to be behind a lot of countries in, in their perception of, of resistance training. And it's a kind of a frustrating thing for us. Every single academic study or, or academic book or research always points to the benefits of resistance training for children. So I find myself constantly having to remind people to go and look at the evidence rather than the old opinions. So for Rowan, I want him to grow up to be healthy and strong and fit and get an advantage in sport. So at a very young age, we taught Rowan to move well. I'm a lifting coach. I, I coach uh, juvenile and adolescent populations. Um, we used to have a little gym myself. And uh, we've run weightlifting programs for children in that gym. And we wanted Rowan to be able to be good at sport when he's older. So the way we've trained Rowan is to give him improved joint stability, in, improved spinal health and hormone regulation and so on. So we wanted Rowan to, to grow up for longevity of health, not necessarily performance. Performance is just an extra thing that's come as a consequence. So I want to be a professional rugby player, so I'm going to train really hard for that. I have a, a deadlift competition um, in October, and I really, really want to go back to America to set some more records. 
when I'm 11. But it's quite expensive and we need a sponsor, a, com a company to sponsor us.